What's up everyone, this is Happy Feats, and today I wanted to discuss five tricks that most Pump It Up players do not know. These are all extremely important to learn and will give you a huge advantage when you approach several step charts in the game Pump It Up. So let's go check them out. Number one, timing window. Pump It Up has always been memed on over the years because of how wide the timing window is. But these type of comments come from players that can't even full combo D21 or hardly even play at all. But move past the memes and you'll actually find something very interesting about Pump's timing window, and that is the fact that the game is more biased towards a delayed hit versus an early hit. This means that if you slightly delay hitting the notes once they are perfectly aligned with the receptors up top, you are more likely to get perfects versus hitting just before they align with the receptors. This is very crucial to know because as you reach higher levels, many step charts have areas where you should be delaying your hits to be more accurate, usually the ones that have delayed brackets in them, like Lucid or Windmill D23. Number two, combo speed. So this is one that some of you may already know about, but a lot of you actually aren't sure how knowing about this can benefit you. I know there are a lot of viewers that are about to get blown away by this one. Pump it up step charts all have a different speed for your combo count during holds. Some charts will just stop counting, even when you are on a hold, like Rock the House D22. Why does this matter? Because the speed of the combo determines whether you can lift your foot off the arrow or not. Take a look at Mad Science for example, S20. Notice anything? The combo is counting only during each individual note, never in between. This means that you can actually lift your feet off the center panel for a moment, and as long as you are on it during each arrow hit, you are safe. This basically means you can avoid that awkward tippy toe strategy and just bracket these notes instead. One last example for this trick is Final Audition Episode 1 D23. There is a section near the end of the chart where a lot of players break combo. Let's slow it down and pay attention to the combo speed again here. Do you see how it is only counting during each note rather than consistently counting at a steady speed even when there are holds going on? That means you can lift your feet up again here and because of the speed this part counts at, you can treat this entire section as quad hits at an 8th note rhythm, so it sounds something like this. Number 3. Cheating crossovers to conserve energy. First I want to make something clear since it was brought to my attention. Cheating is just a way to word this method, but others have many different ways to describe it, like double stepping. Call it whatever you'd like, but it is very important to learn this technique. Now, it will take you quite some time to master this on the higher level stuff, but for those of you that are wondering when you are ready to start cheating certain patterns, it should be after you've learned how to properly do majority of crossovers. As you reach around level 18 or so, there are plenty of sections and step charts you can skip crossovers on to conserve your energy for the tougher areas. How can you cheat the patterns? That is for another video in the near future, but I will show you one chart right now. BS Power Explosion S21 is a great chart to start practice cheating, aka double stepping. You'll probably notice how it repeats the red, yellow, red multiple times during the course of the song. You can cheat this pattern just by simply using one foot to hit one red note and then follow up with the opposite foot hitting the other two notes as a bracket. It's a great way to conserve energy because over time, doing these crossovers over and over again will drain you eventually. This is a technique you need to start practicing once you are getting around level 20 difficulty range in the game. Number 4. Bracket Foot Switching so I think before we jump into this one, I need to actually explain what a foot switch is. I skipped this term in my PIU terminology video because of the fact that there aren't a lot of charts that have them. Foot switching is when you alternate your feet on the same note rather than doing jacks, which are when you use the same foot multiple times on the same note. These look no different than jacks visually, but as you get better and move up in higher levels, you'll be able to identify them pretty easily. So what is a bracket foot switch? This is a technique only a few people currently use, including myself, but it is when you are performing a foot switch on drills. This technique is extremely helpful for players that struggle doing drills at high speeds, like Rock the House D22 or Just Hold On S21. Here's a clip of mine showing how it is done. You can see that I am treating two separate notes as a single hit, and then I will switch over to my other foot and repeat this over and over again. When you do this technique, keep in mind that because you are now hitting two notes simultaneously, the rhythm is now being cut down to half the speed. So instead of doing 30 second notes at 175 BPM, you are now doing 16th notes, which is much easier. The biggest thing to pay attention to while doing this technique is to make sure you are lifting your foot off the panels after each hit because you will get misses if you don't. Number 5. Note then hold. Last one on the list is a pretty big one and again, most players are not aware of this trick. Have you ever seen 86 full D23 before? Check out this section. It looks like a total nightmare, but let's take a closer look and slow things down a bit. Do you notice how there's an arrow followed up with a hold right after? You only need to hit the arrow and not the holds. This is because Pump It Up does not require the player to ever tap the start of a hold note. As long as you are standing on that panel before it reaches the top, you are safe. With the exception of some charts that sneak in a note just above a hold, that is literally the only exception to this rule. For 86, this isn't the case. 
What I would like for you to do right now is follow the chart with your hands on a desk and imagine that the holds weren't even in the step chart at all. This entire section is full of double steps, so keep that in mind while following the chart. Do you notice anything? If you follow along correctly, you will be in the correct spot to have the hold notes occupied with your feet. Try it one more time, but now add the holds into it visually and continue to play like you did before. This is probably one of the most crucial charts to show how important this trick is because doing the jumps in this section at this BPM with those holds would be a total nightmare. You will save so much energy doing this and once you get the muscle memory down, it will be much easier for you. There's also other charts that have this trick like Goodnight D24 and even lower end ones like Moonlight Dance S17. That's all for today. If you liked the video, be sure to like and subscribe. If you're interested in rhythm games, be sure to follow me on Twitch. The link to that is in the description. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you all next time.